Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our latest deep dive into the Reno Sparks real estate market, this time for March 2024. If you're thinking about selling your home or maybe jumping into buying, you've come to the right spot. We're breaking down everything you need to know about what's happening right now in our market. First up for homeowners out there considering selling, we've got some news about sales and inventory that might just make your day. And with the way median home prices have been moving, you'll want to hear this. For those of you on the hunt for your next home, don't worry, we haven't forgot about you. We're talking about new listings on the market and closed sales, giving you a clear picture of what's flying off the market and why. So whether you're looking to sell your home and cash in or find your next home, stick around. We're unpacking all the details to help you make the best moves in our current market. Let's go. Assist to sell way smarter. Before we dive in, I want to let you know, as I mentioned, this is for March. So we have stats through the end of February, and this is for the Reno Sparks metro area only. It includes single family residential properties, basically homes and condos. Does not include multifamily apartments, uh, rentals, commercial property, land, all that kind of fun stuff. So just single family residential property. Now this is intended to just be a broad overview of what's happening in our market. So you get a better idea of where it's headed. If you want more specific advice on maybe a home you're thinking about selling or potentially buying, you should visit our website over here at 4 Reno Homes. There's a lot of great resources on here. And one of them is instant home values. Enter the address of the property. We'll give you an instant valuation, followed up by a more detailed CMA, competitive market analysis report. So you have all the facts you need, whether you're selling or buying a property. So let's dive right in. The first thing we always look at is the 30 year fixed rate mortgage in the US. Why? Because that's the most popular mortgage, but also has a massive impact on what happens in the real estate market in terms of prices. As of the end of February, we're sitting at 6.94, essentially 7% interest, which actually has ticked up a bit from uh, the end of last year into early this year, where we saw it go well below seven. It was about six and a half at one point. Now it's back up to the seven range. We'll keep an eye on that. Now, before we dive into the rest of these charts, I did want to mention how these work. Obviously, it says February 2024. I know this is the March update, but again, we only have stats through the end of February. Now, when you see prior period here, that would be the previous month, in this case, January. And when you say the same period prior year, this would be February of 2023. Of course, on the left side is price. On the bottom is the dates um, of the uh, charts. So median home price as of the end of February is sitting at $549,950, basically $550. Uh, and again, this includes all of Reno Sparks. Sparks may be a little bit less median. Reno may be a little bit more, but the entire area is sitting at right at $550,000. Now you can see that it's still well below our peak of around just over $600,000. Now let's take a look at new listings on the market. Now, these are new listings, what I call new listing flow. This is the number of properties that came on the market in February. Now this doesn't mean they're still for sale. A lot of these came on maybe early February and already sold after two or three weeks and are gone. 388 came on the market in February, which is up um, slightly. Now let's look at new listings by price. Um, as you can see down here is the price range, and this is the number of listings on the left. Um, you know, two to three, three to four, four to five, et cetera. So four to 500,000 had the most listings, which makes sense. Um, and then five to six, followed by six to seven, and we see things fall off when we get into the upper end price ranges. Now let's talk about active. Now the difference between new and active is new is just the number of homes that came on the market. Active is the ones that are still on the market as of the end of February that you could actually go out and purchase. So if you wanted to go buy a house, these are the homes you'd look at. Only 550. Um, seven homes on the market. This is the biggest challenge we're facing in this market today is lack of homes for sale and inventory. Because you can see uh, last year was a very low year, but we're, we're down 25.5% from last year where there were 748. And just from last month, we're down, which is a bit unique because usually this time of year, you see active inventory start to rise. So the good news is we're seeing new listings that are pretty much in line, but the minute those new listings hit the market, they're selling. And so we can't keep any active inventory on the market. Now let's look at active by price. Now, if you go um, to the upper end price ranges, you'll see there's quite a few active listings, a uh, million and a half plus. If you go to one to one and a half million, it drops a bit. The majority of your active inventory from six to seven, 700 to a million and beyond and, and, and up. So not a lot of inventory in the four to five and the five to $600,000 range. So, which leads us to what we call our month supply of inventory. Right now we have 1.6 months of inventory for the total market. 
which is actually down 28% from last month and down almost 35% from last year where we had 2.5. And you can see last year we had quite a bit of inventory starting to build. We had three, three and a half months of inventory. Right now we're currently sitting, like I said, at 1.6. But the, the, the plot thickens, so to speak, when you look at inventory by price. And really what's thrown this 1.6 is the, you know, 600, um, really 750 and up where you see three months of inventory roughly, and then you get all the way up to five plus months of inventory at a million and a half plus. If you get down into the more affordable price ranges, um, the three to four, four to five, five to six, there's a month or less inventory. So very, very little inventory available. And that my friends is what's holding prices stable and high. You go back to the median home price, you can see we had a little bit and you notice here we saw a drop in prices which is 22 into 23 you can see that's when inventory you can see it corresponds exactly with inventory going up so what we need in this market for it to stabilize in terms of prices and affordability we need more homes available to sell and that's what we're up against so let's look at closed sales now we looked at inventory active new how many homes actually sold so these are closed for the month of february 346 and the good sign is that's up 21% from January and up just over 14% from last year we had 303. So that's a very good sign that we're seeing more sales. Now here's where the chart gets very interesting. This is closed sales um, by price. So all these 346 closed sales, you can see the majority of these are happening between four and five and five to 600,000. It starts to fall off when you hit the $600,000 plus price range. Where does all this lead? Well, let's talk about home affordability real quick. A quick explanation on this chart. If this chart is at 100, right now you can see the reading 101. This is the 100 line right here, 150 and so on. What this means is the median income earner can afford the 100% of the median price of a home in a particular area. So if I make median income, I can go out and afford a median price home. Now when this chart goes over 100, that's a very good thing. Uh, that's the percentage that you could afford over median. So let's say median price is say $500,000. If this chart is 110, it's 10% higher. So the median income earner can earn 10% higher or $50,000 more can afford a $550,000 house. The opposite is true. If it drops below 100, that means that's how much less they can afford um, in terms of the median price. So if that drops 10%, they can afford 10% less. So go from 500 down to 450. So right now we're literally right at 100. Now, unfortunately, I don't have, this is at the end of 2023. Unfortunately, as I showed you before, interest rates have risen a bit. And so we actually see this dip below 100. I think it's currently sitting, I looked at the number earlier today, it was sitting at like 97 point something. So <clears throat> this is a challenge because you can see Affordability was over 150 back in 2020, 2021. Now, why is that? Look at the affordability. I'm going to go over here and show you the 30 year fixed rate. We're seeing the lowest rates we've seen really in history, which led to high affordability. And of course, the opposite is true. When you see interest rate spike, you start to see affordability drop. So they kind of go in opposite directions of one another. So, um, what's the best advice? Well, the good news is if you're selling your home, the market is great, especially if you're in the lower end price. And I mean by lower end, by 350, 400 to about 600, 650. That's the best price range. That's got the highest demand. That's more of the affordable range. Your home will probably sell and it should sell relatively quickly for a decent price. Now, if you're getting above that 600, 650 and above range, that's where things start to cool off a bit. Um, we're not seeing the frenzy of activity that we saw years ago, but we are seeing a very strong, uh, stable market right now. And of course, if things change, you'll be the first to know right here on the Reno Sparks Real Estate Market Update. One last thing before we sign off, if you're thinking of selling your home, don't ever, ever pay high commissions. There's no reason to pay twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 or more to sell your home when there's a cyst to sell. We'll sell your home for only $49.95, $5,000. Um, basically every home in the marketplace, doesn't matter if it's that median home price of five fifty dollars or if it's four hundred dollars or if it's eight hundred dollars or a million dollars, it's always $49.95. It includes MLS. You get all the services you've come to expect from an expert local real estate agent for a fraction of the price. We show your house, we advertise it, we market aggressively on all the major website portals and direct mail and so on. So you owe it to yourself and your pocketbook to give us a call, reach out. You can find us over at 4renohomes.com. 775-688-6060 is our number. We sure appreciate you tuning in and we'll catch you next time right here on the Reno Sparks Real Estate Market Update. Bye-bye. Assist yourself way smarter.